Today, we're going to talk about suction and why choosing a dental vacuum with the right kind of pump matters. From the mechanical room to the tools in your operatory, your practice is full of technology that functions to keep you working. You count on it every day, but do you give much thought to how it works? Even if the equipment seems to be doing its job, understanding what works best and why can help you make effective choices to reduce downtime in your practice. There are two main styles of dental vacuum pump design, regenerative blowers and positive displacement. Let's look at a blower fan first. It doesn't do a bad job until you're sucking up anything that's not liquid. In a dental office, solids, blood, and tissue have to get sucked up too. That kind of demand significantly affects the output flow of a regenerative blower vacuum. The second type of pump is the positive displacement rotary claw, which is the technology inside our Midmark PowerVac dry vacuums. A positive displacement pump makes fluid or air move by trapping a fixed amount and forcing the volume into a discharge pipe. See here in our claw, as the pump is turning at a very high speed, there's very little space between the claws. This creates the positive displacement of air, which moves air with significant force. This all simply means the pump provides a constant flow at fixed speed, regardless of changes in pressure caused by solids, blood, and tissue from the oral cavity. Adding more users, needing suction at the same time also changes pressure. Essentially, everything you do in a dental practice causes changes to pressure, which can be a problem with a blower fan pump. A positive displacement pump will continue to pull suction as pressure increases, providing you with the best performance where it matters the most. Take better care of your patients now and in the future with positive displacement used in Midmark PowerVac dry vacuums. Go to midmark.com slash PowerVacG. We are designing better care.